Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a question based on set theory. Uh, it looks that it needs a Venn diagram to solve this, but uh, we will try to solve it without drawing a Venn diagram. The reason being, uh, it says that there are students in a music school. They have five different musical instruments, right? And if you see further, they are talking about some combinations. Okay. Now, if you uh, solve it using a Venn diagram, you will have to make a five-set Venn diagram. Okay. And uh, if you Google that how to make a five-set Venn diagram, you will realize that. It is not worth making it because uh, it is very difficult to make and it becomes quite confusing as well, right? So you will never get a five-set Venn diagram in CAT, which is uh, impossible because in a five-set Venn diagram, you have 32 regions. Okay, four-set Venn diagram has 16 regions. Five-set Venn diagrams will have 32 regions right? and that is impossible uh, that they will give you a question in which you have to find 32 different values. So whenever we have a five set, uh, five set thing, so there are lot of cases will be eliminated. Okay, so let us find out that what are the cases that we will be talking about. Now each student plays at least one instrument. Okay, so a person can play one instrument, a combination of two instruments, three instruments, four instruments, or five instruments. Okay, so that should be the case. But if we read this statement, it says. Any student who plays violin, uh, any student uh, who, uh, no student who plays flute plays piano. So that means flute and piano can never be together, right? So that means the possibility of having five instruments is not there. Okay, so some cases, uh, one case removed. Secondly, if we take four instruments, right? Four instruments means that flute and piano cannot come together. So let us say one case without flute. So piano, guitar, violin, and drum. Okay. And second case, if we take as without piano, so guitar, violin, flute, and drum. Okay. Now if we see this case, it says that any student who plays violin also plays flute. Now this is violin without flute. So this is not possible. Similarly, in this case, if you see any student who plays drum also plays piano. So drum without piano is not possible. So the combination of four instruments is also not possible. So this means basically we will get either one instrument, two instrument or three instruments, combination of these. And in these also we will not get all the values because there will be certain cases where things do not overlap. Okay. So now let us find out what all combinations we have and then using the statements we shall find the numbers also. Right. So let us begin. So if we see this, that uh, piano only. Okay. So suppose let us say a person plays only piano. Now if we read this, a person who plays piano also plays guitar. So we cannot have only piano because agar koi khali piano bajar nahi sakta because piano ke saath guitar ana compulsory. Okay. Violin also plays flute. Okay. So we cannot have only violin also. Right. And drum also plays piano so we cannot have only drum also because if a person is playing drum that will make piano also right but we can have guitar and flute because it is not given that a person plays guitar has to play any other instrument similarly for flute also we are not given any other instrument so we can have only guitar and only flute so we saw that many of the cases have been already eliminated now we will find combination of two instruments okay so let us start from the first and second so we will see like this piano guitar piano violin piano flute and so on so if we have piano and guitar okay if we take piano and guitar is it possible yes because there is nothing given that if a person plays piano that obviously will play guitar but not necessary that a guitar player plays any other instrument so piano guitar is one such combination okay then can a person have piano and violin? So let us say piano and violin. Then violin plays flute, right? So that makes three and piano cannot go with flute. So that is, uh, that is not possible. Okay, piano violin is not possible. Piano flute, it is not possible because a person who plays, uh, no student plays flute and piano together. So that is not possible. Now piano and drum. Okay, so if we have piano and drum, what will happen? Piano and guitar are compulsory. 
right? So we cannot have drum with it. So if we take piano and uh, drum, that guitar will also come. So that means with piano we can have only guitar. Now combination of two from guitar. So guitar, violin. If we take violin, gives flute, right? So guitar, violin is not possible. Now if we take guitar and flute. guitar and flute there is no necessity right there is no necessity with guitar there is no necessity with flute so guitar and flute is one possible combination then guitar and drum so drum will give us piano right drum also plays piano so guitar drum is not possible then we will look from violin violin and flute violin ke sath flute to compulsory but there is no nothing compulsory with flute so violin flute is another combination right so we have got three combinations now uh, violin and drum drum will give us piano again right and flute and drum drum will give us piano okay so we will get only three combinations here also now we will talk about the three ones right the the combination of three instruments so piano guitar we can play together okay piano guitar if we put violin then flute will also come but flute cannot come with piano right piano flute not possible piano guitar drum is it possible yes with piano guitar is there with drum piano is there so piano guitar and drum is one combination okay now if we say piano violin not possible because piano violin will give us flute okay so piano flute is also not possible so with piano we can have only one combination of three now let us look at guitar and violin guitar violin violin with violin we have flute okay there is no constraint with flute so guitar violin flute is very much possible guitar violin drum if we take guitar violin drum then drum will bring piano also so that will become that is not possible Okay, so that is not possible. Guitar, flute, drum. Again, we cannot have guitar and drum because that will again bring piano. Okay. <clears throat> Now, violin, flute, and drum. Right. If we take violin, flute, and drum, it will bring piano, but piano and flute are not possible. So we have only these two combinations in this category. So technically, out of these thirty-two regions, we get values in only six. Okay? So we saw that twenty-six. Regions are zero. Okay, so that is why do not draw a Venn diagram. Instead of try finding out what are the possibilities, because there are lot of constraints given. That if a person plays this, he will also play this. If a person plays this, he cannot play this. Right. So these kind of constraints are given. So even if it is a four set Venn diagram, you should look for these combinations and make it in a tabular form rather than drawing a Venn diagram. Okay. Now let us try to. Uh, read the statements and fill in the values the number of students who play drum is thrice the number of students who play only flute now who all play drum only this category of people play drum that is thrice the number of students who play only flute so let us say this number is x so this number will be 3x okay the number of students who play only guitar is 40 less than the number of students who play exactly one instrument right so let us say that only guitar is n okay then it is 40 less than the number of students who play exactly one instrument so exactly one instrument will be n plus 40 okay if this is n then this exactly one instrument should be n plus 40 Now, if you see this, this is n plus x. So basically, it gives us that x is equal to forty. If this is n, this is forty. Then it becomes total becomes n plus forty. So this value will become hundred and twenty. Okay. The number of students who play piano is six less than the number of students who play violin. So piano, violin, we are getting multiple combinations. Let us skip it for now. The number of students who play at most two instruments is three hundred and ten. Right? At most means one or two instruments. Okay. Now there are three categories of people. Right? These combined is three hundred and ten. So this means the people who play all three instruments should be two ninety. 
because there is nothing beyond this. So there, these are the categories, right? One instrument, two instrument, three instrument. Four and five are not there. Okay, zero is also not there. So it is saying that at most two is three hundred and ten. So that means people who play three instrument is two ninety. Okay. Now if this number is one twenty, this number should be one seventy. So this becomes two ninety. Okay. Uh, so this was not used. This is being used. The number of students who play only flute is one eighty less than the number of students who play piano. Now, do we know the number of people who play piano? No, but we know the number of people who play only flute. Only flute is eighty, so that means two hundred and twenty people play piano. Okay. Now, this pe these people play piano. These people play piano. These are the two categories of people who play piano. This number is hundred twenty, so this should be. Hundred. That is why it will become two twenty. Okay. Now coming to this part, this statement that says that number of students who play piano. So we know that two twenty people play piano is six less than the number of students who play violin. So two twenty six people will play violin. Okay. Now violin this and this category. This is one seventy. So this will be fifty six. Okay. So this is also complete. Now we are left with just two values. The number of students who play only guitar, that is this, is and flute. Sorry, only guitar and flute. That means this value is half the number of students who play only guitar. This is half of this, right? So let us say this is two n. This will be n. Okay. So since we have all the values over here, let us add these. So we will get uh, these total is three hundred and ten, right? So hundred plus forty plus fifty six plus three n is three hundred and ten. So three n will be equal to one ninety six. We get one one four. So n is equal to thirty eight. So this value will come as thirty eight, and this value will come as seventy six. So this is how we are able to find all the values of all the combinations of musical instruments that they can play. Okay. Now let us answer the questions. How many students play exactly one instrument? So that is seventy-six plus forty, hundred and sixteen. How many students play both piano and guitar? So piano, guitar, this, and piano, guitar, this, and nothing else. So this is two hundred and twenty. How many students play flute? So this is flute. This is flute. This is flute. And this also is flute. Okay, so forty and ninety-four, uh, one thirty-four and one seventy, three hundred and four people play flute. How many students play neither violin nor flute? Okay, neither violin nor flute. So we will find all those who do not play violin or flute. So we will find this. This violin and flute should not be considered. Right, so this, so this will come as two hundred and ninety-six. Neither violin nor flute, because these people play flute, and violin is not present in any of them. Right, so the answer is two hundred and ninety-six. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.